Hey gamers, today we're gonna to look at the game Three Musketeers, The Queen's Pendant. Let's check it out. Setup for the game is very simple. What you're going to do is the first player is going to be one of the musketeers. Now, if you have more than one player, they'll be splitting these musketeers. One player is always going to be the musketeers, and one player is always going to be the cardinal. So, in a two-player game, it'd be all musketeers versus one cardinal. And any more, you know, three, four, five player count, the the other players will just split, being the musketeers: Porthos, Athos, D'Artagnan, Aramis. And the musketeers are going to start over here in the window seals. And it doesn't matter which window seal they go in. As you see, there's several windows they can enter in and that's fine so wherever you want to put them up set them up in the game is fine now for the Cardinals men he's gonna put out all little Cardinals players and this is the little sword men for the Cardinals here and he's gonna put them on these little icons right here the little red icons as well he will also have two other characters like Rockefeller and Milady but they start off the board now he'll be later he'll be able to bring them in later on and whenever Milady is brought into the game she may not be removed from the game she stays on the game board she's kind of dangerous in the game. Uh, also, you have the Queen and this is the queen right here. And the queen will start right here in her little ready room, and then every round she'll make it move up the track. So one of the things that the musketeers wanna do is they wanna get her pendant to her, and here's her pendant here. And they're trying to get their the pendant to the queen before she reaches spot number 15 on the king. Now the rule book is specific. It says, hey, if you wanna do a shorter game, make it go to 12 or 10 or eight. Well, why not just move the queen up a few spots and starter here that would make the game harder but the rule book I have one question about it because for setup for the game step one says unfold the game board seriously anyway other things you'll want to do uh, each musketeer will get their own card uh, forever whichever musketeer they're handling these musketeers come with little abilities here uh, Athos he can reroll one of his die in a duel D'Artagnan can roll as many die with a minimum of two as there are cardinals. So he's always going to roll two die, but if he's fighting three or four at one time, he can add a third or fourth die. Uh, Aramis, whenever he rolls a one, he can block a hit from another uh, cardinal person. Porthos just gets an extra heart. Now each of these hit on a four or plus, while the cardinals men, if you look at the cardinals men cards, uh, the cardinals men, here it is, they hit on a five or plus and they only roll one die. So they're kind of weaker but that's because they're the musketeers they're awesome oh and for duels they give you these awesome die blue for musketeer red for cardinal they feel really nice they look beautiful in the game I really love them a lot uh, but anyway another thing the musketeer players are going to get is they're going to get uh, this card here it's a one-time use card that they can use in the game and then discard uh, the cardinal will also have a similar card that they can use once in the game once they use it it's done the cardinal also has a deck of cards that they'll be receiving throughout the game that they may hold on to or play at any time. Now, speaking of the Cardinal's cards, you also have Rockerford. Rockerford can roll with two die, but a special ability about him is he can throw his he can fire his pistol before a duel starts. That means he gets to roll one die and on a five or six, he can hit them and then they start the duel. So he can actually get a bonus hit on them. And then Milady can seduce the if she's in the same room as the Musketeers, if she rolls her four or plus, she can seduce them into revealing the amulet. Now, uh, the Musketeers are going to have four amulets. Three of them, as you see, are going to be fake. One of them's real. You're going to, the musketeer player is going to decide who's getting the real one, and they're going to divide the three fakes among the other musketeers. Now, anytime two musketeers are in the same room, they may switch pendants. So you'll be playing kind of like little, you know, uh, this is kind of like the shell game. You'll be passing these around, maybe a fake for a fake, maybe a fake for a real one, to throw the cardinal and his guards off, especially if my ladies checked a few people. You'll be having to switch this off, because if the cardinals ever find out who is holding the real pendant, then the cardinal 
title player has won and the Musketeers lose. Now, other things you're going to be doing is putting out these little blue little tokens here. You're going to distribute them evenly around the board. Then you're going to give each Musketeer one of them. And they're basically just little helpful things that can help them out in the game. There are some that can hurt them in the game. I think there's like two or three of them that do bad things. But the rule book will tell you what each one does. Each uh, Musketeer will start with one of these. They can only have uh, three at one time. And I'll tell you how they can get more of these. They can also trade these if they're on the same space as another Musketeer. So how does this game start? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to take this deck, shuffle it, and then you're going to reveal the card. And that's the player order. You're going to go in for that round. Now, as you see, these cards have different people starting on different playing orders. You know, sometimes it's one of them three Musketeers or it's the Cardinal. So how this works is you would go down, so in this case, D'Artagnan would move first. So what can Musketeers do? Well, Musketeers can move one or two rooms you know, for their movement. So D'Artagnan could go one, two. Doors are uh, shown by these little green marks. The little arrows here on the board, those are secret passages. That, if they get the right tokens, will let them shoot through a secret passage to maybe avoid the Cardinal's men and get closer to the hallway. Remember, they're trying to get through one of these doors or the secret passage to get into the hallway to give the amulet to the queen. Another action that the Musketeers can take while after they move is they can loot the room. So for instance, let's say Aramis goes one, well he can't go in there, but let's say he started here and he went one, two, and he started in this room. Well he could take the top shield, if he doesn't already have three, he can take that one and add it to his collection. Now they can use their little uh, tokens whenever they want to, but the only thing is, on his next turn, Aramis must move away. He can't loot the same room in back-to-back -back turns. Now later on, if he wanted to come back, like let's say this turn he took a token. The next turn he has to move first and then do an action. Action if he wants to. An action would be fight this guy in a duel, fight Cardinals in a duel, or loot the room. In this case, he can't loot the same room twice, so he has to go away. But on the third turn, he could return back and loot that other token as long as he doesn't have three. So that's kind of how loot the room goes. Now, if they did make it into a duel, then what you do is you take the die associated to how many people are in the room. So right now, Musketeers always roll with two die, Cardinals roll with one. Cardinals get a hit on a five or six, Musketeers get a hit on a four or six. Six. Now, if there were two Cardinals in the room, or maybe three of the Cardinals in the room, of course that Cardinal player would get to throw more die. So let's just say what would happen here. We rolled the die. Uh, he got one hit, so that's a four there. So one of the Cardinals men would go off the board. The Cardinal got one hit as well. So what we're going to do, and the cards come with these little heart tokens, and you place them over the character. So where's Aramis? Aramis there he is. You put, put it over the character, he'd have three of these heart tokens here, and then he'd just remove one of the heart tokens from his card. Now, if he had all three heart tokens removed from him, then he is knocked unconscious. He's not really dead, he's just unconscious. Now, what that means is, on the next turn, like we go to the next card, and when it gets to Aramaeus' turn, the only thing he can do is revive himself. So he would pop back up, he could fight anyone that was in the room, but he would not be allowed to move. He can't loot rooms. He just pops up and he gets all of his health back. So that's basically, it's almost like he loses a turn if you knock him out. Another good thing, for, another bad thing for the Musketeers and a good thing for the Cardinal is, every time you knock out a Musketeer, the Queen automatically moves up one on the track. So basically you're helping the Queen move up faster if you get knocked out. Now, as you see, when it gets to the Cardinals men, it has these Cardinal cards here and the Cardinals can do a few actions here. Uh, whenever it says plus card, that's when you can draw from the card deck, and you'll always get one of those in every turn. Uh, so anyway, you get in the cards, like I said, are little cheats in the game. So let me talk about what actions a Cardinal can do. Well, for an action, a Cardinal can place someone from their reserve, so they have a whole bag of these guys, but they can place one. So I have four actions that say I could place one, two, and maybe put this guy three, and as long as they have red marks here, you can, you can put them anywhere. And then four, I can maybe move a Cardinal. Now, Cardinals, me and any of them, counting Lady and uh, Rockefeller, can only move one to two rooms. So they go one, and he can't go through the secret passage unless he has a card, so you go one, two, like that. 
and that would be their turn because he would move someone. Now, if they are in the room with a musketeer, they may fight that musketeer. And I already kind of told you how fights work. Of course, a milady can reveal pendants, and so the whole time you're trying to avoid her and uh, stop the musketeers. Musketeers, of course, are trying to get to this room. One thing I should mention, there are doors in the game. Uh, if you get the right token, then the musketeers can put this door up and maybe stop, prevent the cardinal's men from getting into that room. Vice versa, the cardinal's men have cards where they can throw this gate up anywhere and stop the musketeers, force them to go another way. Now, the only rule about the doors is, is that you can't play them near the entrances here to get into the king's hallway. Those, that's a no-no there. But anywhere else, you may put doors. So what you're going to be doing is going back and forth. As you see at the end of every card, the queen will move either zero uh, one or two spaces depending but she's usually almost every time she's usually moving up now if a musketeer gets into the king's palace but let's say they are not carrying the real pendant what would happen well in this case all they would do is move the queen back to spaces so that's one thing that they can do. The musketeers can just jump in there early. However, if they do that, then that musketeer is out of the game. They can't come back into the game to help the other musketeers fight off the cardinal's men. But at least you can get someone there to kind of delay the obvious. If it's, if it's moving up the track here, you definitely want to bring in some musketeers holding the fake pennants. Of course, that makes it easier for the cardinal to guess who has the real pennant. So it's, you know, it kind of bounces out. So again, uh, if the musketeers do get the pennant into the hallway, they win. If the Cardinals discover who has the pendant or the track goes up to 15, the Queen sees the King, then the Cardinals win. I should mention real quick that the game does come with some extra stuff here. They have these little tokens that you can use instead of using the cards. It says just flip over this and the Queen will move one, two, or zero spaces. Uh, they also have this to make it easier for the Musketeers. These are just carpet. You can put it over one of the Cardinals entrances and therefore block them from spawning there. Uh, if you want to make it harder you, for the Musketeers, you can put one of these out and it's basically just an extra cardinal spawning point. You can place it anywhere on the board. Now the cardinal can spawn men there. Uh, they give you two of these, I believe like four of these in the game. So you, it can scale any way you want. Final thoughts, what do I think about the game? You know, I was originally looking at this game at the BGG Spring Con this past year because during their warehouse sale, this was one of the games that was potentially listed. Now, they didn't have it. I was slightly disappointed, but not that too disappointed. I love the Musketeers growing up. I must have read the book a, a hundred times. Uh, so for me, I'm a big Musketeers fan. I even loved the candy bar as a kid just because it said Three Musketeers. True story. So a few months went by and then randomly, just off the top of my head, I thought about this game again and I said, mm, do I want to get it? Well, there was one copy available brand new on Amazon <laughs> still and I had a ton of Amazon cards. So I said, why not use my gift cards and check this out? I'm so glad I did. I love this game. Um, the dice look nice. The figures look nice. Now, they're made of the brittle, pit, uh, brittle plastic. Uh, two of my cardinal swords snapped off, and that was when I opened the box. They had already snapped off. So this game is almost, as this video goes, it's almost a decade old right now. But to be honest, it is a pretty neat, simple, simple, straightforward game, where to be honest, both sides have a good chance at winning. I really thought it would be in the Musketeers' favor, but to be honest, my lady is very dangerous and so with one fell swoop she can end the game quickly other than that the musketeers are super powerful but I kind of like that balance um, if you're a musketeer fan and you see you like those little miniatures uh, this may be the game for you I, I think it's pretty decently priced online uh, at various places so uh, yeah if you think it's for you it's definitely worth my time staying in my collection love it uh, my even gaming group even loved this game. They're like, whoa, that was actually more fun than we thought. Because, of course, let's be honest, the cover doesn't really do it much justice. All right, gamers, that's all the time I have for now. Until next time, one for all and all for Game On.